Hey guys, what's going on? In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to change your Windows 7 login screen. So first thing we're going to do is look for the images you want to change it as. Make sure it is a high resolution image, an image that looks well. You don't want an image that's too small because when it expands, it'll be blurry and we don't want that. Second thing you're going to do is go to the start menu and type in reg edit and right click run as administrator. So right here I give you directions uh, how to get to where you need to get to. Uh, H, H key local machine then you're going to go to software then you're going to go to Microsoft you're going to go to Windows you're going to go to current vision you're going to go to authentication and then go to login UI and click background so here you'll see something that says OEM background since for original manufacturer background so go ahead and click it and make sure you change it to HEX or hex hexadecimal and then and change the value of data to one and just click OK mine's already set to that so I don't have to do it again uh, what that's doing is giving you permission to be able to change the background okay so after you do that you're gonna go to the C drive then you're gonna go to and directions are here as well directions are also in the description by the way so you're gonna go to C drive go to Windows go to system 32 you're gonna look for a folder called Ubi and you're gonna to go to info and then backgrounds and here you're gonna have all your backgrounds you wanna you wanna use okay so after you find your image that you want uh, make sure it's a high resolution image and uh, let's say I want to use this Iron Man one right so you can see that the resolution is 326 kilobytes which is too high to be able to be applied as a login screen for Windows so uh, I think they only allow 275 max so what I did actually to reduce to reduce the to reduce the size was I, I went to search and typed in snippet you can also take a screenshot of it and put it in paint and save it that way but this is just the way I like to do it snipping tool and minimize it open up your picture then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your snipping tool click new and you're just gonna snip just just like that and you will save it save it on the desktop it doesn't matter where you save it as you're gonna change the name anyway and you will see that if we look at the image it got reduced to 158 kilobytes and that is below 275 so it can be applied now when you put that picture and you drag it into backgrounds uh, right click it and go to properties and if you have something here telling you to unblock it go ahead and unblock it and then click apply and then click OK that just means that you're given permission for this picture to be used in that folder uh, the, it's just a security feature of Windows telling you that it came from another computer because uh, it doesn't want you dragging files you don't know into that folder just for security measures but this isn't OK it's just an image you can click unblock click apply and click OK and now as you can see this is my background currently in when I log in with Windows uh, let me see Why, oh yeah another thing is if you double click it here it will not open because it is op it is in a folder that uh, it's not meant to be to be viewed like that like if I if I bring this back to the desktop it will open but if I bring it back to the backgrounds it will not open so what you're gonna do now is backgrounds default like I said before this is my main image right now uh, you, I'm gonna rename this to just Alienware Alienware 2 and then this is gonna be your default um, I'm sorry it's called background default I think background with a capital D default let me see if that's right. Background default. Yep. And now when you log in again, that will be your background. 
So please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys. It helps me out, and I hope I helped you guys out. Peace out.